boy Cleave is back The rap game really need this crack I'm finna get me a bag I'm talking money with my pen and my pad You know I'm swinging when I ride in my slab Working hard when I get in the lab If you need a feature from Cleave Then you gotta pay up when you get in the cab I'm finna get me a bag Feeling good, finna get me a jag Order the food and send me the tab And I'ma pay like I stole from your dad I am a vulture for cash I'm about to get me about a hundred bands in the bag But I'm not done, I get more I'm about to get me another hundred bands in the bag okay. Doing the big as a plan I'm feeling cool like a fan Pitbull in the lab Keep the tool in my slab My chick yellow like a cab I got the mag in my hand okay. With some bands in my hand Rubber bands on the cash And a stash for the cash Man, I'm getting me a bag I'm finna get me a bag Yeah, 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 what's good, what's good? It's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, a.k.a. Cleave the Villain. Coming out that H-Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV where I normally bring you the news from the closet, man. Yeah, already, already, you know what I'm saying? Live and direct, you know what I'm saying? Round of applause, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me get straight to this thing. Before I start this thing up, I got to spark this thing up. You know how I do, you know how I do. Delicious. Man, hold up. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? At first, man, I wasn't finna really say nothing about all this, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know, been going on, you know, uh, with the real BRC. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I try to stay out of all this little, you know, drama stuff that's been going on, you know what I'm saying? Ever since, you know what I'm saying, the VinLab situation, I try to, like, stay out of all of that, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, I got to, I got to, I got to speak up right fast. You know, I'm talking about it. It'd probably be the only time I even address it. You know, what I'm saying, you know, pertaining to me just, you know, doing a blog, unless somebody say something disrespectful. You know, what I'm talking about. But um, you know, when Cash battled Arsenal, we didn't order pay per view. When I say we, me, Enlightened Illumination, Mob Two Five Two, and YMF. We didn't order the pay-per-view. We actually took it upon ourselves to go to the battle. We went there. You know what I'm saying? So, being that said, there's a big difference from watching the battle on TV or pay-per-view, you know what I'm saying, in your living room, and from actually being at the battle, feeling the energy, and actually watching the battle, you know, live there at the battle. It's a big difference. And if you don't realize that as a human being, there's something wrong with you, man. That's stupid as hell. If you don't realize that what I just said, there's a big difference from being at a battle than watching it on TV. If you don't, if, if you don't agree with that, then you said something wrong with you. You dumb as hell. I'm sorry. You know what I'm talking about? So being that said, and that's facts, if you don't go to the battle and you watch it, you 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 you're gonna you you gonna you gonna get a whole different kind of uh feeling from than actually being there. You know what I'm talking about? So with that being said, it's a lot of stuff that we seen at the battle. It's a lot of stuff that you know we noticed that you're not gonna notice from sitting there on your living room. You know what I'm saying? In your living room. You know what I'm talking about? So you know. All this stuff that, you know, people are saying, you know, like, you know, retro rock. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 it's disrespectful to, to sit up there and um, make it seem like, I don't even know, man. It's, it's, it's crazy, dog. It's just flat out disrespectful what you're doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like how you've been coming at the real BRC. You know what I'm saying? Calling people clowns and... Cassidy fans and all this other stuff, bro. I think it's it's ridiculous, bro. So you mean to tell me that because we took it upon ourselves to go to the battle and actually witness what was going on, that we that something wrong with us? Nah, fam. We feel like Cassidy won. I I personally feel like Cassidy won two one. So if I personally feel like that, like I actually feel like that because of the different dynamics that I experienced while being at the battle, while being there, you know what I'm saying? It's stuff that I seen that you might not have caught while sitting, you know, in your living room watching the, the, the battle, you know what I'm talking about? So it's like, how the, how the, how, like, what did I do? What, what the hell did I do 
wrong for, for, for feeling like Cassidy won 2-1. Two, uh, two you know what I'm saying? Possibly 3-0 because I'm looking at whose Brahms is better. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and, sit and say that that was the best performance I ever heard in my life. You know what I'm saying? Between both, you know, Arsenal and Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like the material could have been better on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Especially Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? You know, Cassidy too. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with, you know, um, understanding that dynamic. You know what I'm saying? You know, but at the same time, it's like if an, if, if somebody feel like somebody won, then you got to respect it. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm sitting up there telling you the reasons why because you wasn't up. You know what I'm saying? You spend, you keep complaining about $55 or $57 for the pay-per-view, however much it costs. Fam, you live in D.C., bro. You could have you, 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 you could have bought a ticket in advance, and your ticket would have been about $50 or, or, or $60 or $75. So you mean to tell me that, and, and, then you say, and then you said it out your own mouth, that you didn't go to the battle because you didn't want to go to the battle. Like, I'm not understand. That's kind of I'm not understanding that, bro. That don't even make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like you talking about you didn't want to go to the battle, so you didn't want to go support Cass. You rather have just sat there and I don't understand. I, I I don't get it. You was the one making all the blogs, calling them the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat. Every title, bro. Every title, and this is true. I ain't talking down. I ain't saying nothing wrong, nigga. It's 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 the stuff that you you put out there. You know what I'm saying? You know. So if you was the one that was, if you was the one that's gonna make all them blogs like that, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, we would have thought that you would have been the first one at the daggone battle. Real, real talk. That's just coming from a Texas nigga perspective. You know what I'm saying? Call me crazy if you want to. I I, I don't see nothing wrong with what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You was the one, you 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 said it out your own mouth that you did the most blogs. And, and you had the most support for Cassidy, right? That's what you said, right? Okay. Well, then, if you had the most support, if you were supporting Cassidy the most, rather, then why didn't you go to the battle? Why didn't you use that same $57 and just use it for transportation to get to, D, uh, to, get to Philly? Because my ticket wasn't that much money. <laughs> and I bought my ticket late. Like, I bought, my ticket was almost, you know, 300 round trip, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, from Houston to, to 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 from Houston to Philly. You know what I'm saying? But I got a little discount on it, so I paid two something. That wasn't that much, and and I bought it late. I bought my ticket like the day of the like the day before the battle type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I was waiting on some money. You know what I'm saying? I keep it all the way a buck. Keep it all the way a hundred, man. So, nigga, I got to the battle late. You know what I'm saying? Ask YMF and Illumination and Mob Two Five Two. I got there late, but anyways, it's like. I spent not that much money on late fees of going to the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you would have got your shit in advance, your shit would have been, like, barely, it would have been under $100, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could have came to that battle. But you said it out your own lips. You didn't want to go to the battle. You know what I'm talking about? So, I don't I don't even understand that within this old, with, you know, I, I don't understand that, bro. I don't understand that at all. But you sat up there and said out your own mouth that you supported Cassidy the most. So why isn't Cassidy's biggest supporter at the battle? I don't get that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It makes absolutely no sense, man. But I touched on that enough. So it's like we went there. We got there. We did our little walkthrough. I blogged and held the camera walk, you know, while I was walking. You know what I'm saying? You can check that out on YouTube. And, um... I'm loving how Philadelphia looks. This is my first time getting there. I'm 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 lit. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I made it to the battle. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> late though. By this time, Cassidy not even there. You know what I'm saying? So we see Iron Solomon. You know what I'm saying? T Top, all kind of battlers. You know what I'm saying? We you know we wasn't worried about them. You know what I'm saying? We was trying to get to where we needed to get to because we was already late. My goal was to, like, I really wanted to, like, blog and interview them them cats and st stuff of that nature, you know what I'm saying? But it just wasn't the right time, you know what I'm saying? We was, nigga, nigga, nigga was late like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> it's crazy. But, um, so we got to the damn dough or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Actually, no, we we get close to where uh, we were actually running to Cassidy, you know, uh, people, you know what I'm saying? 
And so we was grouped up, chilling for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Chopping it up. I'm, you know, blogging, taking footage or whatever, you know what I'm talking about? And then um, from there, then we walked on the little side of where that alley was, you know what I'm saying? And got to the dough. The dough was hectic, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even though it was hectic, we got in. Hollow was out there, you know what I'm saying? Calico was outside, you know what I'm saying? T-Top with a lot of people, you know what I'm talking about? You know, Nunu Nails, all that. Beasley. <clears throat> it was cool, nice little experience, you know what I'm saying? Just even seeing that shit. So, we get inside the battle, you know what I'm talking about? As we get up in there, it's packed, jam-packed, you know what I'm talking about? Since we was casualty people, it, it, like I said, it was hectic. It was hectic at the door. You know what I'm talking about? It was hectic. <clears throat> but it wasn't hard for us to get in. Once they realized it was cash people, they just got us up in there. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't at the door long. <laughs> so um, once we got up in there, it was packed, my nigga. I'm like, I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? I got my phone. I ain't even had no weed. You know what I'm talking about? I love to have some weed. I'm seeing niggas blowing blunts, all kind of shit. So I'm like, damn. But I'm a Texas nigga, so I can get weed from anywhere. <laughs> I don't give a damn if you drop me off in the jungle. I could find somebody who got weed in the jungle. So, uh, we up in there, you know what I'm saying? I see the DJ booth and everything. The crowd is that way. So, we go, like, to, straight to the DJ booth, you know what I'm saying, where Don DeMarco was, you know what I'm saying? And we was just there chopping it up with him. But the first person I saw was Jersey 9, you know what I'm saying? So, I walked up to him. It was like Ill Flow Spitter, you know what I'm saying? He knew who I was. And then, you know what I'm saying, we shook hands and stuff. Um, we, I don't know if we, ch I think we said a few words or whatever. It was pretty, it was cool or whatever, you know what I'm saying. And then um, I was just standing there, chopping it up with Don DeMarco, other cats that was around, music loud, I'm jamming. You know what I'm saying, I'm seeing niggas with weed and shit like that, so I'm scoping who the hell I'm going to ask for some damn weed, you know what I'm saying, some, some, some damn gas. And so I find, I, the, the nigga on the side of me, I, you know, Chopped it up with him for a seco, and you know what I'm saying. I was like, nigga, you got some more of that shit, nigga. What's up, baby? I need some. I need some. I need some blaze on. You know what I'm saying? I, I got. I got a dub. What up? So nigga gave me, you know what I'm saying, a nice little dub of that shit, boy. Some gas, my nigga. I don't know if it was from Philly, but it was some gas. So I twisted up. He showed me a nice little way to twist up. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole another story, man. This is, you know, you put the backwood inside the paper, roll it up. You gonna that that motherfucker gonna burn forever. Me and Y Mef was, <laughs> me and Y Mef was smoking this blunt for uh, talking about for for damn near an hour and a half, bro. <laughs> Real talk, we was stuck. So we there loving it, chilling. By this time, we waiting for Cassidy. We seen I seen Calico get bodied by um, uh, what's the nigga name, man? New Jersey twerk. In my eyes, he got bodied. You know what I'm saying? Two rounds of Calicos. He choked, he, 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 and then he, he yelled out Jersey and walked off. It was, it was trash. Um, then the bill collecting the DNA was, was, was hilarious. It was pretty funny. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh, uh, I think the Cassidy battle was after that, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Arsenal. Uh, no, I think Cassidy was out there. We see Gilly and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about it was hectic. The nigga feet was on fire, you know what I'm saying? We noticing all kind of stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Cassidy was a little late or whatever. It is what it is. So I'm standing, you know what I'm saying, on the in the back by the goddamn DJ and shit. And Cassidy um was you know, he was like in the front all the way by Gilly and all them, you know what I'm saying? Pretty flock and all them, you know what I'm talking about? So uh I think the first round, boom. Arsenal spitting. Arsenal doing this thing. I'm in the back. I'm like, damn, I need to go. I need to be in the front with, 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 with nigga Cass because we didn't come in at the same time. So Cassidy, get, uh, he's, he do, he, he's standing. Arsenal spitting. So at some point, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, you know what, man, I need to get to the fucking front. So I tell YMF and Illumination, hey, look, man, I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to I'm gonna get to the front right quick. They was like, all right, bet, 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 no problem. I'm, we watching you. So... They was already watching me. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm straight. Like, I'm walking to the side. So I'm on the side. I'm in the front of the stage now, but, like, on the side, like, on Arsenal side, though. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I got a little closer, and then, like, Arsenal basically did that little pocket tap thing and, you know, grab uh, Cassidy's shirt or whatever. So when Cassidy pushed him and it started that whole big brawl down there, you know what I'm saying? People pushing, you no know, Wallow and Gilly and people from Arsenal side or whatever. 
you know, it was a lot of movement, you know what I'm saying? So I basically maneuvered my way to Cassidy's side, you know what I'm saying, make sure I got to that side, and I was on that side, you know what I'm saying? So I got to see everything. This is the dynamic of what you're not understanding where you can't understand how what we understand from watching it on pay-per-view. This is what I'm getting at, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about? So when you get there and you're in the mix and it's like jam packed and the bodyguards and the goddamn homeboys and the the rival the the, the 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 ops on the other side, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, you you absorbing all that energy and you realizing stuff that you're not gonna realize when you watch it on pay per view. That's why you should have came, retro. Damn, bro, you should have came. You should have spent your little money and came. If you didn't have the money, nigga, we would have cashed after you ten dollars a piece for you to get here, bro. Nigga, I spent almost a thousand. Well, I ain't uh, close to a thousand. Um, I didn't spend a thousand, but I spent some money between me, my ticket, and like, you know, um, po hotel fees and food and cab and Ubers and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I probably I probably spent like maybe like four five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that don't even matter. You should have just spent that. You should have came, bro. We would have cashed after you or PayPal'd you a couple dollars to add on to the to, to the 57 that you spent on the goddamn pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? And, we, and, and, and you'd have been good. And you would have been able to see it from a different perspective. You wouldn't have just sat up there and just been saying, oh, Cash did this, Cash did that. We're not saying Cassidy's performance was just the greatest. No. we. I just felt like he won because I felt like the material was still better, even though, like, the second and third round of both parties was just not the, 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 the truth to me. But... I feel like Cassidy's was better. The crowd was tripping. People was heckling, saying stupid stuff at the wrong times for no reason. Pretty flocking them. Uh, the nigga that Nico, pretty flock that introduced Cassidy to ARF. He was chanting out stuff like, oh, um, rap, Cass, rap how I taught you, Cass. You know what I'm saying? He was saying some stuff that I was like, damn, I thought you were supposed to be cool with him. You know, you know what I'm saying? Why would you be yelling that? that? It confused me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, that's crazy. So the people behind him, some of them niggas was on some other shit. And, I, and Cassidy was hearing that shit, too. I, I was watching his facial expression and all. I was watching everything, bro. I seen it. This is stuff that you're not going to see from pay-per-view. Once again, you should have came. Nigga, we would have cashed after you. Ten dollars a piece if we had to, my nigga, to get you out there. Real talk, bro. But you sat up there, and you said all this stuff after the battle, not understanding what happened in the dynamic of what uh, 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 the dynamic of energy that we absorbed while witnessing the battle in the flesh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you feel me? So after that, bro, uh, 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 Arsenal. He, I feel like Arsenal killed that first round. I like that bars. I like, I, I like this. I like, I like the first round. Then. And, and Arsenal's mic was crispy clear. Then when Cassidy got to the rapping, I started noticing after like 30 seconds. I was like, damn, he sounds kind of low. I don't know. Just me standing there, I kept thinking like, damn, is this the weed I smoke, bro? Is it me? Am I tripping, bro? You know what I'm saying? Or is this mic low? Anyways, but I ain't even say nothing. It just was a thought at first. Cassidy get the rapping, I feel like he was killing this first verse. And I compared bo uh, both verses, and I feel like Cassidy killed uh, 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 Arsenal's first verse, bro. That's how I feel, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? The crowd was saying dumb shit. People were selling time for no reason. Some of the hot shit Arsenal said got booed. Didn't make no sense at all. You know what I'm saying? Then the second round came. Arsenal had a lot of squid work clarinet bars. It was annoying as hell. It was times where I would look back at Pretty Flocking them and the people that was behind that Cassidy and shit with Pretty Flocking them and they, I would make, I was like, damn, did that, they ain't make no sense. They not even complaining. I'm complaining, and you can hear me. They not even saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, they supposed to be booing. They ain't even saying nothing. And then when Cash would say something hot, they wouldn't even really respond like that. That was, I was absorbing that, bro. This is what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Ain't say no goddamn excuse. It's the reality. I was there. And I'm literally like, damn, what type of shit is that? Anyways. So Cassidy spit his second verse, and it just, the, the energy got sucked by the goddamn crowd. You know what I'm saying? Then nigga, uh, 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 what's the nigga name? Arsenal, he did his thing in the second round, and it was trash. It was squid work clarinet bars. Then the third round, and, 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 and on, on, both, on both parties, was not that good. But I feel like Cassidy's was better. And I understand what Cassidy was trying to do, but his delivery, like the momentum and energy got sucked out of his delivery from the stuff that was going on with the motherfuckers that was with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, not, like, with, you know what I'm saying? With, 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 like, we're pretty flocking them. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? This is what I noticed. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Gilly was there making faces and stuff. That's a whole nother story. You know what I'm saying? Making faces. I understand he felt like, he probably felt like Cassidy's bars 
may, may not have been moving to him or things of that nature, but I seen what was going on. I was watching Cass, you know what I'm saying? I was watching the people that was with him, stuff like that. The stuff that Cassidy was noticing that was fucking up the momentum. And you know what I'm saying? You know, I still got Cash 2-1. That's just what I came up with. You know what I'm talking about? But you're not going to notice none of the stuff that I noticed or YMF or Illumination or uh, Mob 252 notice if you was not there. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. If you didn't have the money or if you needed to, 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 to add on to the $57 that you paid for the pay-per-view, nigga, nigga, we would have cashed after you $10 a piece, nigga, or $15 a piece. You know what I'm saying? It, it would have added up at least for your ticket uh, uh, to get there and back. Greyhound or maybe even the fucking round trip playing if you know you know what i'm saying like usually i don't know bro it's crazy fam you know what i'm talking about so all the stuff that you're saying and the insults i feel like you need to stop you know what i'm talking about chill with the insults man because i'm not even playing you know what i'm saying you know at all you know what i'm saying like i'm not playing at all I'm, I'm i'm a cool dude you know what i'm saying i feel like you 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 insulting the real brc nigga you know what i'm saying you need to publicly apologize and for not even being there you talking about man up nigga what do you mean you just hear everything i just explained to you Everything I just explained to you right now, fam, you said man up. That's an insult to all four of us that was up there, bro. Real talk. You need to publicly apologize. If you don't, bro, man, leave my name out your mouth, bro. If you don't publicly apologize for that man up shit that you said, bro, retro Rob, fam, then just leave my name out your mouth, bro. Don't even say my name no more. Leave me the hell alone, fam. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm affiliated with cats that's not going to be happy with the stuff that you you saying about me. I ain't going to even put it out there. Just leave me the hell alone. Just leave my name out your mouth if you don't publicly apologize to everybody. I'm talking about man up, nigga. We was up there, nigga. If you needed the fucking dollars to get there, we would have cashed after you or PayPal'd you a couple dollars for you to get there so you could experience the shit that we experienced there. You not going to feel that type of energy with no goddamn pay-per-view, bro. Straight up, fam. You need to publicly apologize, bro, to every goddamn body, bro. Straight up and down, bro. Straight up, bro. Hey, man, I'm done talking about I, I, I'm out. You got Battle Truth and Piper Boy and goddamn Three Letterman, DMV, DME Detroit, all these all these cats sitting up there opening their damn mouths about us now, letting them use that shit as ammo where we could have all congregated after the battle and shit. Even though you didn't come, you still could have called us. We could have had a conversation about what happened first before you put that blog out, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you sitting up there keep complaining about $57, bro. That shit is some bullshit, bro. That shit is not trill, fam. You know what I'm talking about? That shit ain't trill at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? You giving all these haters, Battle Truth and DME and Three Letterman and Piper Boy, you know what I'm saying? Jay Black, all these all these cats, ammo to sit up there and talk down on us, bro. When we could have congregated and talked about the whole goddamn situation and everything would have been, you know what I'm saying, understood. Because you would have understood that you should have came to the battle. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, man, I'm done talking, man. You know what I'm talking about? Man, you need to publicly apologize. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, man, leave my name out your mouth, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. The real BRC Texas and, and, and the real BRC, you know what I'm saying? My nigga is a, is a conglomerate. I'm talking about this shit is a merge, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got the whole South behind me. I got the whole state of Texas behind me, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So this is what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just need to do that, bro. ASAP. I'm out, bro. It's your boy Il Flow Spitter coming out that Ace Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, baby. It's that closet TV where I usually bring you the news from the closet. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to the real BRC. You know what I'm saying? I'm out.